Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to make a drug collaborative based recommender system. This is different than content based. Content based, where it would be the TDI vectorizer, uh, you know, on the column of the description, returning the name of what you want it to return. This is different. Collaborative filtering is basically returning the name of what you want from the um, rating. So basically, we're going to accurately return the rating. As you can see, this had a very small distance, right? Or Essencia, which is a generic of this drug. You guys see that right here? Because I typed in that drug name of Abiseft. And then as you can see, it returned uh, this many. And I'll show you guys how to change that right there if you guys want. Okay, there's the matrix head. And let's skip ahead for a second before we dive into the code. By the way, if you guys want this data set, I'm going to leave a link to my GitHub. Download it and do the code just as shown. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. You guys can use a Jupyter notebook if you want, or you guys can also use uh, a Google Colab like I am. Any text editor will work. Okay, so uh, upload it. Import pandas. Read it. The file path. Here's a shortcut. Copy path. There you go. Okay, look at the head. As you can see, we're going to need to drop those two columns. So drop them on an axis of one. And then uh, you can also copy it if you want. Fill in A's for zero. And then the products matrix. Okay, guys, as you can see, there was the rating. So this is collaborative. These are the values. The columns are going to be conditioned. This is kind of the reference. And then the index, the thing we're returning, the drug name. There you go, the DF pivot table. And then we're going to use K and N. Okay. The K nearest neighbors import these right here with cosine similarity as a metric. And the algorithm type is brute. So as you can see, the products matrix, those things, the values of them. And then we're going to fit this right here, the CSR matrix uh, fitting this. K and N fit. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do the def function in Python, the product ID, okay, which would be Abraceft. If you guys want to change that right here, you guys need to change the drug name and then change it down there where we skipped ahead, okay? The, from the K&N neighbors, reshape on this index, pass this parameter right here if you're using a different data set and you find that a different K you, you know, you find in the elbow of the data set is a better fit. Okay. In this range, flatten the distances. Okay. If equals to zero, the format, or else right here, we're in the uh, info range is zero. Okay. The products matrix spar the, the head. Okay. As you can see. That's how it looks. Now, uh, as you can see, the distance from 8 went all the way to 28, which is a pretty good model, I would say, right? Because one of that is less than uh, a thousandth, less than a thousandth of a percent of the distance, right? Okay, because it's a generic. Okay, I... Now, how we made that accurate was not just the data set and the correct uh, number of neighbors, but also, remember, we use the condition as a reference in the columns. Okay. Now, uh, guys, remember, this would be different if, see my other videos for content base, where basically the TDIF vectorizer would fit basically the description. Since there's no description, we can't use a TDI vectorizer. Therefore, we can't make a content base. Let's say the condition had a, a couple para, a paragraph basically describing the disease. Then we could fit the TDI vectorizer with that in the matrix, 
and then we could return the drug name. Now, luckily we have ratings here and then we can uh, do collaborative filtering. Now guys, see my other videos for how to make content-based recommender web apps. I've got three of them. See my other videos if you guys want to do, uh, you know, just regular content base, no deploying with Streamlit, no web applications. You guys want just simple content. I got an anime recommender system and uh, I've got a tech jobs recommender system. I've got another collaborative filtering with the data set from Kaggle. But if you guys click on the link to my GitHub, you can use this data set right here. And if you guys feel free to experiment with this neighbors, do more data analysis, maybe you get a better result than me. I didn't uh, do the elbow method. I didn't feel the need to. Okay, um, this is basically uh, me taking a break from, I'm more on the machine learning engineering side. So I basically focus on getting models approved for productions. In fact, see my videos for MLOps with SageMaker pipelines, getting models approved for production and deploying them and serving predictions on AWS Cloud. I got some GCP videos as well. Check out my channel. I got convolutional neural networks, Azure deployments, more ML web apps, AI web apps, including image classification web apps, time series, you name it, I got it. I got so many videos on my channel. NLTK, NLP, SageMaker NLP, IP Insights algorithm, many SageMaker just deploying models, no ML pipelines. I got those too. Check out my whole channel. I guarantee if you're watching this right now, there's something you need. Um, and let me take a break from me telling you about my channel. Also, feel free to hit like and subscribe and share. There's probably something somebody needs on my channel, and I'm here to help. And if you guys want me to turn this into an ML web app, just leave a comment asking. Okay? Now, uh, if you guys want to do a different one, like Abilify or Abrificar, um, put it right there, the LOC on the products matrix. And then put it right here, and then you'll get the distance of and the drug name. Remember, guys, from this def function in Python? Okay. And then with a different data set, most likely you're going to need to change this right here. If you guys want the best results, just like my k-means algorithm, I've got a k-means as well with web scraping, where you need to find the best k and k, but you need to do this with k and n, um, if you guys are really serious. Okay. See my other video for using K means, finding the best K and K. I've got two videos of those. I also got a SageMaker K means video. Um, pretty much uh, check on my channel. If you're watching this right now, there's most likely something you need. Um, uh, Feel free to hit like and subscribe like I told you and uh, tell me anything you guys need on my channel, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll most likely get do it immediately or get around to it. Uh, by the way, this channel is more on the machine learning engineering side than it is the data scientist side. Remember, machine learning engineers just work on getting models approved for production, deploying them, doing ML ops. Data scientists are more focused on building models. So I try and do a little bit of the data scientist side as well, but I'm more on the machine learning engineer technical side. Um, that is all. Thank you. And uh, till next time. Bye.